On this Remembrance Day weekend, the Royal BC Museum salutes the province's young World War I pilots who fought in the world war in the air while their comrades battled in the trenches below. Some of these donations are just magnificent. They really are. These are the uniforms of pilots from families in this province who fought in World War I. The first plane arrived in British Columbia in 1910 and it literally was bamboo and sheets of canvas for the wings and you sat out in the open and off you went. So when the war began in 1914, almost no one in the province knew how to fly. Maybe two dozen people, maybe less. The war accelerated the development of aircraft. Suddenly airplanes were covered in canvas and they demanded light, flexible wood. And the best wood in the world for building aircrafts for World War I came from the forests of British Columbia, Sitka spruce. So war caused clear cutting of Haida Gwaii. But those planes needed pilots willing to go to war. All of this really began with a whole bunch of young men who in 1914 and 1916, when they signed up, didn't even know what an aircraft was, but it sounded really exciting. Young men like Gordon Sloan, who later became Chief Justice Sloan, overseeing many BC Royal Commissions. William McGill, who later founded McGill and Orm Pharmacy. Raymond Collishaw, the Nanaimo Airport Terminal, is named in his honour. Kerr of the milling firm Brackman and Kerr, he went to war. And some of the photos in this episode are from his scrapbook. John Drury, here's his Mark I goggles. Crucial, because a pilot could be blinded if a gasket blew and oil gushed from the engine. It's also very cold at high altitude. So here's a pilot's gauntlets from another family. Flying coats were heavy leather for wind resistance. The purpose of this flap across the front was to keep the wind from getting underneath and into you because early airplanes were open cockpit. You were out in the open. Letters home have also been donated. It's a peculiar sensation to be shooting along at 70 miles an hour at a height of three or 4,000 feet. Sort of a mixture of loneliness and the freedom of a bird. A poignant collection from the families of men who will never be forgotten. This Week in History, brought to you by the Royal BC Museum, celebrating 130 years.